Hello, hello everyone. Good to be back and thank you for tuning in. Finally, the results are compiled and we can now assess the performance of Trader Tom's school run strategy in a portfolio context. Uh, and we're also going to address the question if you can get funded or not. Before we jump in, let's see how the strategy has been going on the DAX in the first couple of months of uh, 2023. Let me remind you that uh, the DAX, it's not optimal to trade it uh, in March based on past observations. Well, regrettably, to the end of February, we see very muted performance. Um, here you can see the scalping system, which doesn't trade in January. And uh, it only yielded about $125, while the swing system yielded $212 to the end of February. I was curious to see how March would have gone if the algo was allowed to take trades. Um, and I will switch that on in a little while so that I can show you what's been happening with the uh, volatility that's returned to the market um, given the um, fear around the banks in the US. It does uh, look like there may be profits to be had in March and I will probably let it run and trade for me as well. So now for what we are here for, which is the long-term um, performance of the portfolio. Let me just zoom this out a little. All right, I hope the numbers will be visible enough for you. Um, okay, let me just go a bit larger. All right. So over the last eight years from 2014, the portfolios have returned $99,967. And I have chosen to start the strategy with a 5,000 capital contribution. So that then ends us with the 104,967 um, equity in the account. As you can see, that actually uh, uh, for uh, investment that has, has, to, has got compounded returns, um, you would have to earn 33.34% per annum on a compound basis to get close to the same return. And that would have been based on a $10,000 um, investment. And the reason I use the 10000 here for comparison purposes is because I do come to the conclusion that 10000 is probably the amount of capital that's appropriate appropriate for the seven um, instruments that we're trading. Um, so just to remind ourselves, what are the seven instruments? So we've got uh, two in the DAX, one scalping, one swinging, GJ, GU, Hang Seng, NASDAQ, US 500. Um, and if you look back at this period here, for example, where we've got um, this one started somewhere in August, right through to no, why does it not want to give me the numbers now? So up until the seventeenth of September, we we ended up with fifty nine two one three from sixty four thousand and thirty. So that's around about a five thousand loss. Um, and you see this repeat every now and then in the strategy. So um, I thought it would be better to do the 10K equity for drawdowns like that. But it's up to you what you feel an appropriate uh, amount of equity would be when you can experience drawdowns of 5,000 or so. Um, Another way to think about it is, as well as if you use the strategy to live from, 
and you withdraw every dollar you won to maintain your strategy capital at 10,000, then at some point you will see your equity decline to $5,000 and until it is built back up to 10K, you will not be making any withdrawals. So how will that play on you um, if you if you did experience a drawdown of say 50%, would that have made you stop? Uh, so yeah, it's really up to you to decide what um, what type of equity would be appropriate. And of course, this is also linked to the position sizes that I've been trading here. Um, so then, what we also learned from the strategy is it actually does flatline for long periods of time. You can see here from 2016 right until May 2017, nothing much was happening. Again here in 2018, right through to 2019. Um, and then it just does make, does these steps where it really outperforms and then it slows down. So this is where the beauty of an algo will come in because it will carry on and do its job while you getting on with life. Um, and you won't get disheartened when you come to the market for 18 months and not really getting anything back from it for such a long period of time. But over the long, long term, it would be beneficial if you were able to do this every day. All right, now going to the last two months. And this is where we'll look at the question of... Um, can you get funded? So looking at the instruments that was best was clearly GJ. Um, the DAX scalping, not really all that much. And um, DAX swing was, was also okay. You see that we have really over, over this last two months, not really gone anywhere either even with all seven instruments and you wouldn't have been able to get funded here. You would have blown your account um, quite a few times uh, and it would all have been about timing. So you would have started, needed to start your challenge at the right time. And as with many of these companies, uh, they'll test you over two months. So uh, you also, after you get funded, have to stick with the rules. So you would get funded and then just lose it again. So if you didn't trade these pink ones, then there is a chance that you would have been able to get funded. Um, you would have probably need to play a little bit with the position sizes, but as you can see here in the first uh, f period, you could have gotten close to a thousand dollar gain. Um, and then as long as you didn't break the limits here, you could have then proceeded to get the second month, uh, go through for the second month to get funded so we'll we'll see how this goes um you end up here from let's just take that five two five nine all the way to seven three nine seven this loss here five nine five one down to five two five nine so yeah you wouldn't have blown your account um but if you didn't get quite to the one thousand there you probably would have been needing to play it for a second time uh, as a free restart and then you would still not be funded by the end of this because you'll have to go into your second month unless you were the one of those companies who don't don't do that uh, we only assess you over one month so yes it is possible um, and certainly interesting to see if it can be done but right now it looks like something you just have to do with your own money and get rich slowly rather than quickly 
Okay, so what else? Uh, just uh, in, uh, try to attempt to answer the question. If it is volatility that makes this um, strategy profitable, let's uh, let's look at what happens when you when you do make money. So over over here, for instance, um, I was I was trying to see if the momentum or ATR indicators can tell us everything anything on. Um, is that is that what's sitting behind the profits? It is not quite that easy to interpret, um, and I think the jury is still out. But I know here, for example, in March we are now making money, and do note how this have increased. Now with momentum, what you want to see is a fast change, right? So you don't want to be sitting around the zero and not going anywhere but you want to either go from a high extreme whip to the other side or you want to um just see steep angles right it can start from the zero line but it has to be steep so let's see if we can add the march results no, I can't pause now, so where's my... So there you can see how, how things have started to improve here in March, just with the um, swing system. And uh, it's definitely coming from this increases in volatility. Fast change down here. Um, fast change up there. Yeah, that's really the one that made, the, it made you the money. But the trade was over so quick. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. Um, I feel like I'm babbling. So let's stop it here. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to try and run live GJ. So I actually should quickly talk about that. Um, while Tom is trading the DAX in Europe hours, I will trade, I will go live and stream GJ trading. Um, so let's just explain to you what will happen on the chart when, when this does play out. Um, the, the indicator up here, it's not really indicators, the actual um, equity positions and equity performance. This updates uh, with a one bar delay. So you only see if a trade was entered uh, after the bar that caused the trade to get taken has closed. So you will not know by looking at the stop section if the strategy has taken the trade. However, what you will see is if there's a live trade on by the trade appearing over here and there will be a blue line from where it was taken. And uh, let me illustrate. So I can set a, let's set a stop by over there. So here you can see now what I'm talking about is that it shows you the trade, the position size, the price, and this line from where it was placed. When it actually triggers, it will become blue, and the blue will start where the trade was executed on. So that you will see live, and then you will know if the strategy has fired a trade. I won't, I won't be trading manually in this, so... Uh, but I do have one other algo that runs on GJ that could actually interfere, giving you a false signal. Mm. Going to be a bit hard to get around that. It does trade at very different times to the European session, so I think it will be okay. Um, normally, 
the name will show here or not, only if you hover there so yeah unfortunately i don't have a solution for that i think the only thing hopefully i'll be on as well and i could talk you talk to you but i, I mean i can't stay on because the trade could run for many hours i can't stay on that long and so let's see how it goes maybe we will need to do it Tell you what, I'll I'll, sw I'll switch the other algo off. Yeah, let's solve that by just switching the other algo off. Okay, so that is it for today, and uh, all the best. I hope you enjoy your weekend and and found this quite useful.